So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X Wing here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my second version of this ABC deck profile. And this version is going to be the Galaxy Soldier, aka the Cyber Infinity version, where you can literally make Cyber Dragon Infinity plus. Okay, an ABC Dragon Buster first tournament. Only two card combos. So without further ado, guys, let's get started with this deck profile. For those of you who only wants to see the rank four version of this deck, make sure you guys uh, check out my channel. And there should be an information card that pops out right here. That should take you guys right to the rank four version of this ABC deck profile. But if you guys are interested in you know looking at the Galaxy Soldier version or the Cyber Infinity version, where you can you know make a very very first turn powerful uh, board with this two card combo, make sure you guys. Stay tuned for this video. And for those of you who do not want to watch this deck profile, guys, as always, the deck list of this deck will be in the description box below. Uh, and you know what, guys? Right now, it's actually 3 a.m. in the morning. So by the time I actually post this video, I might not have the deck list in the description box yet. So, guys, be patient. I'll make sure I'll put that uh, deck list in the description box as soon as possible. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get started with the deck profile. Deck profile is just very, very uh, standard. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of ABC deck lists are just very standard nowadays. And it all is just up to you and I'll, always up to personal preference on what you guys want to play in your own deck list that way that you guys can spice things up uh you know according to your own play style so of course for this standard version of um how was it called? The ABC uh, Galaxy version is, of course, going to play Triple Galaxy Soldier. Very, very powerful card. If you guys know what Galaxy Soldier does, is that you can basically special summon this card by sending one of the light monster from your uh, hand to the graveyard, then special summon it. And if this card is special summon, you basically get to search another copy of Galaxy Soldier from your deck to your hand. And then with that second ga uh, Galaxy Soldier, you basically pitch another light monster, especially when they got the other Galaxy Soldier, making it to your Nova, making it to your first turn Cyber Dragon Infinity, uh, which is very, very powerful. So this card is really good overall, and it's just really, really good uh, with Transmodify as well. So Triple Galaxy Soldier, very, very standard in the deck in my personal opinion uh, for this version, of course. Triple uh, Galaxy Soldier, and next off, uh, you want to play uh, the standard Triple A, uh, you know, your monster, uh, that, you know, once this card is equipped to a machine monster, it, the monster is basically unaffected by, you know, um, monster effect and of course if the monster would be destroyed battle by card effect you basically destroy this card instead while it's equipped and also uh, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you basically get to add a uh, other um you know, a union monster from your graveyard to your hand, which is pretty awesome. So this card is your, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Warrior Returning Alive of the deck, which is pretty awesome. So triple A Assault Core. Next one play, of course, triple B Buster Drake. Uh, this card is your Reinforcer of the Army of the deck when it, of course, is sent from the field to the graveyard. Uh, basically gets to add a, uh, union monster from your deck to your hand. And this card also, while equipped, it makes your, uh, monster that's equipped unaffected by spell. Uh, card effects, which is pretty awesome. So a uh, triple buster uh, Drake, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, your C Crush Fire. And this card, once equipped, uh, is a uh, mixture that monster unaffected by traps. So this one is trap immune, spawn immune, and also monster immune. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, basically, basically get to special summon a union monster from your hand, which is uh, pretty awesome as well. So these cards are really good cards. They all have effects when they sent to the graveyard. This card special from the hand. This card search from the deck. This card is your warrior returning of a life. Uh, which is pretty good. So, you know, the basic uh, standard A, B, and C with the Galaxy Soldier engine. And the really good thing about Galaxy Soldier and the synergy that it has in this deck is that, you know what, uh, to summon Buster Dragon, you know, these cards has to either be on the field or in the graveyard. So when you're ditching cards um, out, such as A, B, and C for Galaxy Soldier, these cards are going to the grave anyway. So that way that you can easily tutor out, tutor out your ABC Dragon Buster, uh, which is pretty uh, amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Next off, you're going to play, of course, for our support engines, Double Photon Thrash, uh, very solid explanatory. This card is your one card out to Kieran, which is pretty good. So you special summon Photon Thrasher, enter battle phase, attack. This automatically forces Kieran to tag out because this card is a 2,100 2, attack, which is 100 higher than Kieran's. Uh, you know what? It'll be really unfortunate if they are playing Magic Specters and they have, what's it, called, uh, what's it called, Pegasus on the field. That's just when you're actually screwed and you need cards like Gamma Seal to get over that. But, you know, if, if, if they don't have Pegasus and they're playing Metaphors and you have a Kieran on board, literally, especially summon the Thrasher, enter battle phase, attempt to attack. They're going to force to uh, bounce it back. If they do bounce it back, you basically get to special summon it again and then go into your combo place from there, which is pretty awesome. So double photon Thrasher, which is really good. And it's also a free uh, monster that can be special summon and it's also a light, which is pretty awesome. Uh, uh, so double gold gadget, uh, double silver gadget, very solid explanatory um, uh, gadget engine, your Tinto Fish or your Goblinberg of the deck, uh, in my personal opinion. Also, when a card uh, dies, it basically, basically gets to tutor out the other one from directly from the deck, which is pretty awesome. And also, this card is searchable through the Gear Guy NX, which is uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, so the, the four gadgets right there. 
Uh, next turn play for our hand traps, double maxi, very important. Uh, one ghost ogre, and last but not least, one gamma seal with a sea turtle kaiju. You guys don't have to play this. You guys can play any combinations of kaijus, or ghost ogres, or maxis. It's all up to personal preference on what you guys want to play. I believe that main deck, main decking kaijus is really important in this format because you know, especially going second. And if you maxi them and they take the challenge, if you draw into your gamma seal, this card is your one card out to anything. Your one card out to cyber dragon infinity, one card out to uh, ABC dragon buster, Kieran, Beatrice, you guys name it. Gamma seal is just solid every problematic problems that uh, you ha you that, that you're about to face uh, in the game so Gamus was really good Ghost Ogre is really amazing as well especially against the mirror match or, or, and even the, uh, the metaphor matchup as well uh, you know this card is really good against Union Hanger once they activate their effect to basically equip directly from the deck you can Ghost Ogre uh, the Union Hanger and they're basically just done for the turn so Ghost Ogre and Snow Ra uh, Rabbit is just really good for that and Maxi is overall a really good card you guys know what Maxi does basically prevents them from going out prevents them from going their first turn ABC Dragon Buster but if they do you basically Basically gets to draw cards and if the more they special summon especially against the galaxy soldier version the more they special summon the more that you're gonna you know get advantage in your hand and more than likely you're just gonna draw into your combo pieces and your kaijus and your traps and your spells and things like that to basically just f your opponent over so maxi is just a really good card overall so that's pretty much it for our monster lineup guys the monster lineup is just very generic and very standard uh, if you guys want to add in your own spicy text such as you know more kaijus more gold soldiers and things like that or any of your other spicy text that you got that i do not know of or any other players who not know off make sure you guys incorporate that into your own deck because you know what i really want you guys to use this deck list as a guide on what you guys can play in your own decks i don't want to say play this play that i'm just showing you guys on what i would play and what you know and, and how this play style uh, of cards in the deck uh you know works best for me uh so this is probably the best list uh yet uh, in my personal opinion uh that's uh that's uh that's fitting uh for me i've been t uh, play testing this version for quite some time and it's working uh wonders uh, in my personal opinion and uh that's pretty much it for the month lineup let's go for uh the spells triple union hanger you want to see this card as soon as possible really powerful you know your main engine starter of the deck triple terror for me of course uh, basically playing six uh, uni hangers in the deck uh one rota uh, double twin twister and last but not least you guys want to play of course double trans modify okay this card is actually very very powerful so double trans modify this card is really really good it, it you know there's a two card combo with of course you need hanger and trans modify if you open up a trans modify unit hanger you basically open up cyber dragon infinity and uh, abc dragon buster it's a very standard combo that every galaxy uh uh abc player know how to do and of course it's just a very, very powerful card, card of all if you guys don't know what trans modify does basically uh you send one face a monster you control to the graveyard special summon from your deck one monster with the same type and attribute as that monster in the graveyard but one level higher you can only activate one trans modified for turn so basically uh these cards right here a b or c with trans modify transforms you into a galaxy soldier uh which is pretty awesome so you normal summon let's say b buster great trans modify this goes to the graveyard you search you special, you special in the galaxy soldier galaxy soldier will activate to search a galaxy soldier and then the, the, since b buster great was sent to the graveyard you get you basically get to add your missing p so let's say you add c and then you go with your second galaxy soldier to ditch the c to the grave overlay for cyber dragon infinity so uh trans modify with any other of these bad boys right here translate into your of course your cyber dragon infinity uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so double transmo transmodify is good. You guys can actually you bump, bump this up to three, in my personal opinion. But uh, if you guys don't have a third one, you know, uh, playing two copies is definitely more than enough, in my personal opinion. You don't have to play triple copies of this card. Uh, I feel like two, uh, two is enough. So yeah, that's pretty much it for your spells. Do not have the money for Pot of Desires, but if I do, I'll definitely play, be playing it. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe take out, I'll showcase you guys my trap first, and showcase you uh, on what you guys should take out. So, once on warning, uh, triple strike, very standard, uh, double anti spell, and last but not least, one Vanny's Emptiness. Toronto or Traps. Traps is very generic and very standard as well. Um, I replaced some traps instead of the rank 4 versions for more of, uh, of the Galaxy Engine and Transmodify. I used to play Triple Anti Spell for the rank 4 version. I also play cards like Bottomless Trap and things like that. If you guys are playing Pot of Desires, I will take out maybe a Solemn Strike. Uh, and Or to be honest, I would add in maybe just the two Pot of Desires. Because banishing 10 cards, like 42 cards of Pot of Desires does not hurt the deck at all in my personal opinion. 
but this trap lineup is just very, very generic. Uh, maybe I would I would even cor incorporate a third anti spell on this, but right now the space is just very, very tight. So uh, yeah, this this version is just uh, by far works best for me. So that's pretty much it for traps. Let's go off to your uh, side deck real quick. Side deck is, all, is always up to personal preference as well, depending on what you guys want to play. But this is for the side deck, the third anti spell. Of course, the Union Scramble. You know your uh, anti side against the uh, mirror match where they side in the system down against you, uh, which is really really powerful. This one is like uh, burial from the different dimension, but it's a better burial in my personal opinion. Uh, so Union Scramble is really good. Double Comungus for blue eyes and also uh, the mirror match uh, and basically against everything. Uh, triple systems down. I have a proxy. Please do not hate me. Cards is really good against Cosmos. Also get good against the mirror match, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, double Ally Justice uh, Cycle Reader really good against the mirror match and also the blue eyes matchup. Uh, the second Ghost Ogre, really good going second, and also popping that Union Hanger, and also popping those scales that uh, Metal Force try to activate. Uh, triple Ghost uh, Reaper and Winter Cherries, uh, one Dante, and last but not least, one Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon uh, to help uh, banish the you know you know this against Blue Eyes, this against Burning Abyss, uh, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it for your side, and now let's go off to your extra deck real quick for your extra deck. Uh, triple ABC Dragon Buster. Very standard, very uh, generic. Card is really good. Uh, you know, tags on during your opponent's turn uh, gets you a lot of advantage, especially if you have a union hanger face up on the field. Also, he has a quick effect to you know dish a card to banish card uh, on the field, which is pretty awesome. It doesn't destroy it, so it dodges cards like uh, Machine Angel Ritual and also Return uh, of the Dragon Lords, which is pretty awesome. So a triple ABC Dragon Buster, uh, one Cyber Dragon Infinity, one Cyber Dragon Nova because you can make it with Galaxy Soldier. Also one number thirty nine Utopia Lightning, a very good Giga and X. So which is all, everything in the deck except for Thon Thrasher, Gamma Seals, Ghost Ogres, and also Maxi. Uh, one of Gustav Emerald, Castell, one of Abyss Dweller, Double Diamond Dire Wolf, and last but not least, Double Bujintai Sukiyomi uh, to round off our extra deck. For this, what you guys can take out is you guys can maybe take out a Sukiyomi for maybe a Pilot Dynamo, in my personal opinion, or also any other cards you guys want to play. So at least play one Sukiyomi in this version, but take out maybe one for. Um, a Star Leech uh, Pilot Dynamo. Nice. And this is a very generic combo that I told you guys before. That's very standard uh, for all ABC players. So, you know, if you open up Trans Modify and Union Hanger, okay? So let's say you open up these two cards right here, okay? So you activate Union Hanger, you search, and remember, you have three other cards in your hand. So let's say the one, two, three, okay? So you have three other cards in your hand, and this is what you open up. And you're going first. So you go into, you activate Union Hanger. Okay, you need to hang over search. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you search. You're making that infinity anyways. So let's say you search the assault core. Okay, so you search the assault core. You normal summon assault core. Okay, uh, what you do is uh, you need to hang over effect will activate equipping the Buster Drake, which is pretty awesome. So you equip the Buster Drake, uh, which is pretty good directly from the deck, and you go trans modify to these two. Go go the graveyard. Uh, well, you know what? At this situation, like you don't want to add the Buster Drake back to your hand. Because uh, you don't want to ditch it. So instead of Alpha, I'm gonna use the C Crush Vibrant. Yeah, C Crush Vibrant is definitely way better in this situation. If you go, if you already have another uh, monster in the graveyard, you can basically uh, go Alpha instead. But for this situation, let's use C Crush Vibrant. Normal summon C, uh, equip B. Okay, you go transmodify, pop these two to special summon the Galaxy Soldier. Okay, Galaxy Soldier will activate to add another one to your hand. Okay, so this is in your hand. Now you have four cards in hand, and these two are in the graveyard. Okay, and now B Buster Drake will activate to search your missing piece. Since you already have C and B in the grave, you want to search A. So now what you're going to do is you're going to activate this Galaxy Soldier, ditch this to the grave, special summon this Galaxy Soldier, uh, which is pretty awesome. Now you overlay these two right here into, uh, you guys all know it, Infinity. Uh, Okay, and now since you have, so this is your board right here, Infinity, so you already have one negation, which is actually pretty strong. Now since you have these three in the grave, you banish these three for ABC Dragon Buster, very standard combo. And next you have these three cards in hand. Okay, so you have these three cards in hand while you have these two, these two on the board with Union Hanger, and this can dodge out to provide back the banished cards that you banish for ABC Dragon Buster during your opponent's turn, which is really, really awesome. You know, if you have two back row set, two back row pass, if you have Solemn Strike, anti-spell, that's automatically GG. 
and then uh, you have that one card in hand to banish with ABC Dragon Buster. So that's a pretty cool combo that you guys can do to bring out these two massive powerhouses during your first turn. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. If you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. That will be really amazing, guys. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything like that for me to fix in this deck profile, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. I will be happy to read your constructive, uh, you know, constructive criticism and things like that. I really love when you guys give me feedback. It really helps me become a better player as well and also helps the people in the community for those who are looking for other options or other cards that they might be missing in the deck. Uh, so this is pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. If you guys want to see the rank 4 version or how to beat ABCs, the links will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. This is Sam from Team Channel Sam saying out. Alright guys, enjoy your ABC formats. Alright, peace. Thank <laughs> you.